to do a little comparison of simple and compound interest using Excel. So using Excel is great because you can type in the formula once and then you can calculate it for as many items as you'd like, uh, which really does make it nice. And then we'll have a little graph. So first off, you'll notice in column A, I have years zero to 30. So we're looking at two and a half years of excitement. Um, and then we have simple and compound interest. So for both simple and compound interest, we're gonna use a principal of 5,000 with an interest rate of 4%. And for our compound interest, we're gonna use annual compound. That's the easiest formula to think through. Now for simple interest, in case you have forgotten, the formula is I equals PRT. So principal times rate times time gives me the interest. And then if you want the amount at the end, right, we are going to take principal plus the interest. So we have to keep that in mind. So for simple interest, we are going to find the amount at the end. So I'm going to start with equals. First, we have the principal, which is 5,000. Then I'm going to add to that principal times rate times time. So 5,000 times the rate of 0 0.04 times the time. And I'm going to use the cell reference A2 for the year and I hit enter. Because I have used the cell reference, I can go to the, uh, highlight the cell B2. You see the little green square in the bottom right hand corner of that cell? Move your cursor over that so you get a black plus sign. Then you can just double click and it will autofill. So every one of those will have the 5,000 plus 5,000 times 0 0.04, and the only difference is the change in years. So there we go. Oh. Compound annually. The formula for compound interest is the ending amount equals the principal, one plus the rate divided by the number of times you're compounding in a year, raised to the number of times you're compounding in a year times the time. Now, because we're multiple or we're compounding annually, we know that n equals one. So that really simplifies the formula to be a equals p one plus r raised to the t. So that makes it a little bit easier because dividing and multiplying by one doesn't change anything. All right, so let's type in our formula. Equals, the principal is 5,000. In Excel, you have to use the times, which looks like a snowflake, to represent multiplication. Then I have my parentheses, 1 plus the rate, so 1 plus 0 0.04, end parentheses, exponent to show our exponent, and then the exponent is our time. Again, we're going to want to use the cell reference. That way we can autofill. I hit enter. And then again, go to the green square in the bottom right, make it be a black plus sign, double click. And so now you see year zero, which is our initial amount. First year is the same, then it changes. So to get a good visual of this, we're gonna um, graph these on the same graph. So to do that, we're just gonna highlight all three of our pieces of data, go up to insert, I like to just do recommended charts, it makes it easier. But I'm gonna do this um, two, two type here. So we can see uh, simple interest is in blue, it's the bottom graph, compound annually is the top one. So I'm just gonna change my chart title to be simple versus compound interest because I think that's fun. Uh, and it's always important to uh, title your graphs. So now as you're looking at this, you can see that for the first, I don't know, four, maybe even five years, the amounts are very close. So the, the, you know, you can see that the compound, the orange line is starting to break away. But as time progresses, you know, as we get to 30 years out or months or whatever we're going to do, you can see how different it is. Um, and so it really kind of just splits and you can see the, the, the big change. So over time, compound interest is just so much better um, than simple because it just earns you so much more. Now that also goes with if you're borrowing money, the longer the loan with compound interest, the more interest you're gonna pay. So just gonna keep that in mind um, and how that looks, whether you're saving, borrowing, uh, the difference between simple and compound. Remember, simple, that's linear, compound, exponential. Thanks.